Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Cancer. How are you guys? I hope all is well in your world. And thank you so much for dropping in. I do appreciate it. Ooh, there we got cards wanting to come out right away. If you're looking for a single specific love reading, do check out my playlist. I put them up every Monday. This reading can be any aspect of your life, friends, family, uh, work situations. Does Cancer need to know? These cards are ready to hop out. Does Cancer need to know? Clarity, please. Clear messages. There we go. Yeah, we got someone in their head. They may have some regret. But often this energy is someone who gets up in their head and they have an unfounded fear. Thinking too much, overanalyzing is what I feel here. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, a magician. Some Gemini energy doesn't have to be it's just someone in that energy of manifesting there this is somebody here definitely doing a lot of thinking analyzing someone has a lot of regrets here you know, someone may be regretting manipulating someone or regretting something they've manifested so we'll see it has to, i feel it could even be uh, you know something to do with just communication yeah we have the seven of of cups here so yeah someone here may have manipulated now it could be options possibilities as somebody who's been procrastinating well, it's often a person who gets in their head and they overanalyze which leads to procrastination someone needs to make a choice someone may be even regretting a choice that they made it could be somebody who had other options there it is six of wands uh, eight of wands yeah it has to do with some kind of communication the way someone communicated and then we have the sun yeah things are becoming clear there we have it yeah so there's definitely an energy of luck someone is manipulated in some way here acting like they don't have any money when they do but i actually feel there is a lack of reciprocity i can see it someone never had success now this is generally a victory card this is someone who regrets they didn't get what they wanted there wasn't a victory Okay, and it has to do with the communication. Now it's an energy of, uh, you know, a lot of positive energy, definitely multiple opportunities, things speeding up. Someone regrets this energy, see? But I feel there has to do with a lot of, and, and the, this energy of manipulation, I, I see it here, okay? This is someone who regrets that. It's all based on unfounded fear, thinking someone has other options. But, you know, th th this is the Six of Wands energy. It's generally a victory. It's about wise choices. Somebody didn't make a wise choice, and they may have had multiple opportunities, something that came in suddenly and made a choice. But there's the energy of been there, done that, you see? I feel someone here has a lot of stress, too much going on, even though there's some positive things. There are some successes, but it's a win some, you lose some. But I feel this communication, something started with the communication. And I feel someone was trying to manifest something Something, but chose to use a manipulation okay it almost looks like someone's giving the impression that they have other options or something in the communication is leading to that but there's the things becoming clear so i see something new so i feel it's an energy here cancer of moving away been there done that it's an energy of recognizing when something isn't going to be long term it won't be successful see this person's regretting something that's the energy of somebody who's a runner often somebody who runs away see something it could have been successful i see it it could have been something that went well but it has to do with the way someone communicated there was some kind of manipulation while someone they're trying to manifest but manipulating at the same time now there, i do see something new someone no longer giving to someone because it may be something not long term you see it's an energy of someone seeing that it won't it, this isn't going to be long term so somebody was planning and preparing for, you know, assuming, I feel, that because they're strategizing and analyzing, it's a strategy uh, to try and have success. But someone's getting attention from other people. So it's an energy of someone manipulating, trying to get someone to chase after them. But I feel here there's this, it's all becoming clear. And I actually feel like you may have other opportunities. See, there's something lacking. There's an energy of lack. It's someone who's not giving. They're not reciprocating. It's also a person who manipulates and acts like they, acts like they don't have any money. 
okay or acts like they're not good enough because it's an energy of someone who things just didn't start off right because this is someone who came in with that energy of a lot of negative thoughts manifesting into reality so they actually manifested tried to manipulate and they manifested the, the reality of lack it's someone who obviously feels like they're not good enough but i'll tell you i feel there's all regrets all to do with their unfounded fear that this will not be long term it's not going to go anywhere and i actually feel this is someone who likely has other options or they're thinking someone else does okay but i see the sun so there's definitely something new i feel like you got someone reaching out here yeah it's all going to be exposed yeah there's the cycle see it's the cycle landing this is maybe there was something on and off with someone but i feel it has to do with the cycle could be to do with the timing uh, but there's a whole new cycle beginning so there's a house a home a family a strong financial foundation see i feel we got a person here who strategizes they wanted everything to go in their favor they wanted something to go in their favor here so they manipulated okay yeah see someone who didn't see they didn't build the foundation first they chose to manipulate so it's someone who doesn't put their best foot forward you see they're not um, building the foundation there's there's an energy of someone trying to manipulate and they're trying to get things to go in their favor and i feel like it didn't so yeah it has to do with this person some kind of manipulation acting like they don't have any money when they do okay maybe hoping somebody will give them money <laughs> it's possible but i feel it's someone who just didn't put their best foot forward i feel this is someone who has a strong financial foundation a house and a home i feel that they were they were trying to uh, figure out how to get things to go in their favor that's a, often a person who just wants to keep their options open you know someone playing the field dating a lot of people okay it's a person who definitely plans and prepares ahead see they're planning and preparing looking at the details carefully now some of you it's possible too like i say i mean you may have something else starting here but i feel it has to do with everything going to be exposed okay everything's going to be illuminated here yeah you got someone in their feelings see dating you may have been dating somebody here um somebody who's exploring their feelings see it's a manipulation uh, somebody who says let's explore this relationship but they're actually not putting their best foot forward see they're not building the foundation first you see because they're manipulating acting like they don't have any money but yet i feel this is someone who wants to uh, there may have and i feel it's a communication where they're saying let's explore this see where this goes but yet they're not behaving accordingly and that's what i'm feeling they act like they don't have anything well, they could have some insecurities here but we'll see let's have a look at make a choice yeah see there's the energy of new so there's something new new options possibilities fantasizing see it's all becoming very clear so i feel this is someone who has other options and it's possible they have this unfounded fear that you do okay cancer but the, i feel a lot of this is their energy and some definitely some strong leo energy some sag energy let's have a look at this six of wands see somebody was hoping they were going to get a victory they would have success I feel it's a person who's probably used to being chased because they have money, a strong financial foundation. See, but something wasn't. Been there, done that. And it has to do with how they communicate. Someone had lots of other opportunities. So I, now it's possible this is somebody who was kind of overwhelmed, may have started something here, started, started things maybe with two people or someone reached out to them. But there's the aha moment. See, that's that aha where the light bulb goes off. Some kind of idea. I feel someone here manipulated because of insecurities acting like they didn't have any money that they weren't financially stable but they do they have everything they need they have the house the home the money you know um, they're, they're definitely not somebody who's impoverished but they act like they are okay yeah eight of oops we got the two of wands yeah so it's a person who doesn't think things through so yeah someone being a little hasty 
uh, coming in quickly out of the blue communicating but i feel it wasn't successful see this is someone who's rushed into something before thinking things through uh, so someone definitely choosing their battles here but also choosing their words wisely see someone didn't that's what i feel they didn't choose their words wisely now they may have some sag or leo in their chart where they have that spontaneous energy where they just um, you know suddenly decide that you know they come up with an idea they reach out and and send that message to someone but they didn't think things through <laughs> they didn't choose their words wisely uh, they and i i feel they have regrets they, somebody here definitely has some regrets so there it is meanwhile we've got someone waiting here but i feel it has to do with the ship sailing the ship has sailed here see this is someone who feels like it's too late now I, I feel this person came in too fast, too strong. Uh, I feel there's just, yeah, and possibly they had multiple opportunities. A lot going on at once here. And it, I mean, some of this is very positive stuff, absolutely. But I feel this is someone who now feels like it's too late, okay? Yeah, I mean, you may be feeling that way too. What If you're the one who's waiting for this person to get something going, but I see multiple opportunities. It's possible you're looking elsewhere and maybe that's what this person feels is too late. Somebody blew it here. They didn't put their best foot forward. They didn't build the foundation first. Things didn't start off right. They chose to manipulate. They were wanting this to go in their favor. They actually wanted, they were actually thinking commitment, marriage, you know wheel of fortune but i feel maybe the timing was all off now i mean it's possible they may have started met somebody new started something okay and then met and then meet they meet you multiple opportunities see this is often a person who sometimes procrastinates too you see mm -hmm. but there's the eight of wands see energy of working and building this has to do with somebody who actually wanted to build okay they wanted to build something. I mean, it could be a business. It could be a home. But it's an energy of, of, of somebody waiting and now feeling it's too late. See, they chose their battle. They, they didn't choose their words wisely, though. <laughs> it has to do with choosing whether this is something to put effort in. I feel this is someone who didn't put enough effort. They didn't take the time to work out uh, the details of this communication. Very spontaneous. So everything's in the communication. It's being exposed. So I feel there's an aha moment or this realization that there's something in the communication that was illuminated. Uh, kind of giving a clue, it almost looks like. Something they said. Yeah, see, it has to do with the timing. It has to do with investing, hoping something pays off. See, they were hoping this paid off. But I feel some of you maybe, you know, sitting and waiting for this person to reach out feeling lack, feeling lonely. You know, I feel someone made you feel like you weren't good enough here. And if you had someone who did that, I feel it has to do with their own insecurities. I feel there's a little projection here. Let's have a look at the Six of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah. Yeah, someone wasn't telling the whole truth. See, they weren't reciprocating. They weren't giving. I feel they had other people reaching out to them. And they may even accidentally uh, sent you the wrong message or said the wrong thing to the wrong person. <laughs> that happens. See, everything's being illuminated. But I see new. I see new here twice. So there we have, see, two people. Well, you, you got a person. I'm telling you, this is someone here who... There was a, there was some kind of lack, and I feel it is a lack of proper communication, something lacking in the communication. I feel they were communicating to two. The message that was meant for you may have been meant for someone else. They weren't speaking the truth. This is someone here looking for clarity. They're looking. I feel they're actually probably going back into their communication and looking at uh, what happened. I, I definitely feel, too, this person had some... Uh, couple things going on see starting something new keeping their options open and i feel maybe that maybe it's yourself keeping your options open been there done that looking elsewhere no longer putting in the effort i feel this is someone who didn't put in enough effort uh, to, in a communication it was just spontaneous they may have been busy at work there may have been a lot going on okay they may have been very busy at work and deciding to randomly just communicate but i feel what's happening is has to do with the timing Okay, so the timing was definitely off too. Like I feel it's almost like they you know, they start something with you or they had just, maybe they just started a business too or just started building a new home. And there was other things going on. They were very busy. 
you see, or they started an, um, a, a, a connection with someone else here because I see options, possibilities, you see. It has to do with somebody here, I feel, who kind of procrastinated for quite some time and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they get this idea. <laughs> yeah, it didn't go well. I don't feel it was successful. They were hoping, they were, you know, manipulating, but they did not put their best foot forward. So that's an interesting energy here. See, they're looking at that, shining a light on it. See, they're going, aha, they didn't invest. They weren't patient. Uh, I feel, uh, and I do feel the timing was off. And it could even be yourself where you kind of go, okay. Because <laughs> something's missing from this communication. It was lacking. But you know what the sad thing is, is nobody got what they wanted. Because, uh, you know, we got two people here. This is soulmate connection. And there's lack. This is somebody who's actually lonely. But honestly, I do feel for some of you, maybe not all of you, that this person, there's two things started at once. Now, whether they were building a house, building a business, working on their financial foundation, they're busy and randomly decide to communicate. But now, you know, and then they kind of mess it all up here because I feel they chose their words wisely. They weren't, they weren't sharing everything. They weren't giving, you see. So there's this lack, something lacking. And they're not reciprocating. They weren't invested, you see. I don't think they were really invested in anyone. I feel this is someone who just acts like they don't have any money when they do. And they probably have insecurities. But I feel what we have is two lonely people here, you know. Yeah, there's definitely an energy of two. I want to dig into this a little more, but this person definitely chose their words very wisely. You know, a little bit of breadcrumbing, tossing a few hints, you know, hoping it'll be successful. They, it's like they hinted at something is what I feel. Maybe to manipulate to see how you'd react so you would chase after them. Uh, I feel this person acts like they have no money. I feel they have insecurities. Uh, because they actually do. I feel they get chased. They generally get what they want, but they're not getting what they want here. They, I can see. I don't think anybody got what they wanted. Self-fulfilling prophecy, an energy of luck. So something ended very painfully. You see, it was a painful ending. It's over. You see, they're looking at this. Now, it's possible you have someone here who started something with someone. Okay, well, maybe they... Um, there was something lacking in the connection with this other person, or maybe with yourself. Or they, something ended painfully and they were in a very negative state. And then they start something with you. It could go either way. But yeah, they weren't really invested. I feel the timing was off too. Uh, this is someone looking for clarity here. Absolutely see. Manifesting here. You see, manipulating yeah, see, keeping secret. Something was hidden. I feel there was a lot of confusion here, Cancer. That's your energy, feeling a little confused. They were breadcrumbing. They weren't reciprocating, see? They weren't telling you what you needed to hear. Um, it's a person who chooses their words wisely. They were being careful. Uh, it's not what they were saying. It's what they weren't saying. There was lack. So... But nobody, now we got two people who are lonely, feeling left out in the cold, okay? But I honestly, I feel like there was another person. I may have started something with two people at the same time. I feel they were overwhelmed. I also feel they were working. This may have happened while they were at work. But, it, you know, it's an energy where it takes two people to build, you see? So this person kind of feels as though you're looking elsewhere while you're waiting, you see? Some of you are just focused on work while you're waiting for this. But I feel like you're going to have that epiphany in the middle. You're, you're looking at this. This is something that maybe could have been successful, uh, but wasn't because uh, they didn't communicate right. They weren't being, they, I'm not going to say they were lying, but there's definitely a lack of clarity. See, there's a lack of clarity, you see, in the communication. Because I feel there's things that are hidden in the shadows, you see. This person manifested uh, this. They're definitely being secretive. They're hiding something. And I feel like you may have been very confused here about whether they're invested in you or invested in someone else or uh, there's just secrets, mystery and confusion. So let's have a look at this Knight of Cups here, this Knight of Chalices. Yeah, see, this is somebody here who's definitely in their feelings here. 
But you see, this is somebody who was uh, very apprehensive. They definitely were exploring their If you have someone who says to you, let's just explore this. I feel, because that's what I'm seeing. It's like the communication, let's explore this, but yet they don't put their best foot forward, you see. I feel it's a manipulation tactic to get what they want. It's like they were trying to get you to chase them, for you to offer them something, to give them what they wanted. So I feel as this person's got some negative energy. I kind of feel they're very low vibrational, and maybe it is because something happened here, you know, yeah, this person definitely someone with options. <clears throat> they get a lot of attention. I feel they kind of get chased, you see. But I feel they were trying to get you to chase them uh, to see if you would chase after them. I feel like you didn't. Like It's almost like they were trying to get you to chase after them because that's what they're used to. And I feel, you see, this is someone failing to see, unable to make a decision, procrastinating. This is someone who maybe had a choice between two. No, but it could be yourself here where you fail to see how it started, the way this person came in, you see? Let's have a look at the sun. Why is this here, the new? Yeah, see, this is an energy of someone being cautious, being careful what they wish for. See, nobody got what they wanted, see? You, know, you wanted something, I feel. You wanted to, you know, get something going with this person. You wanted them to start it. Okay, but I feel someone's failed to recognize here um, that it didn't start off right. And it's the way it starts. That's what I feel, the way it started. They're not building the foundation first. See, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Looking, see, that's, there it is, back and forth, taking a little pause, looking. There's the aha moment, right? It's an energy where someone goes within, looks at things from a different um, angle, a different perspective, and goes, aha. You see? That's that's it, see? Yeah, see, somebody failed to recognize. They were indecisive. I feel someone who probably couldn't make up their mind here between two. They started, it's like they started two things uh, at the same time. But nobody gets what they wanted. See, this is someone who wanted to be indulged. Offer me. You see, they're used to being indulged. They're used to getting what they want. This is often, too, a person where they get bored easily. And, the, you know, the, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. But, yeah, they didn't get what they wanted. But I feel it's yourself, too. Like, you may have put some work and effort into something and you didn't get what you wanted. But I feel they didn't, too. I don't think anyone got what they wanted out of this situation manipulation never works maybe they feel you were manipulating them so they you know or vice versa here where you know tried some kind of tactics this is somebody who you know analyzes and the strategy you see is to um start something but i feel this is somebody just want they're definitely exploring their feelings you know, courting and dating. I feel that it's someone who also make up, makes up a lot of excuses or maybe they came in to apologize. Yeah, but it looks like excuses, making excuses to one person, getting attention from them and then, you know, vice versa energy back and forth. Yeah, so there it is. It has to do with um, someone here feels somebody didn't have their best interests at heart, but it has to do with partnering up, see? You know, some of you too, someone feels like it's too late. You may have um, possibly here uh, broke free from this and moved on and started something new because I do feel they now feel like it's too late. Um, it's definitely too little too late for some of you. Now, this could be someone checking you out too, where you go at work, you know, kind of checking you out here, being cautious, playing it safe. See, this is someone who was trying to play it safe, but yet they manipulated. They wanted, they actually wanted this to go in their favor. They actually wanted to start something and they blew it. We have a single person, see? This is someone who single, they have everything they need. You see, it's a person who's planning, kind of looking into the future, preparing, you see? Someone's looking to see if you're sing still single, but they feel like it's too late. I, I feel some of you maybe even... You know, at that point now where you just feel like being single. Oops, that wanted to come out, but I lost it. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. 
Yeah, see, it's a decision, a judgment. Somebody made a bad decision. This is a person who, now it's possible you got someone who acted like they, they were completely single and they weren't. They may have actually started something else. Okay, Cancer. But there's a decision, a judgment. So somebody made a bad decision. I can see it. They played it too safe. They started something, didn't get what they want. It's a person, if they don't get what they want from one person, you see, they go get it somewhere else. That's the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah, so we have three people here. See, now this could be someplace where you socialize, where you go, somewhere in your community. In fact, this person could be trying to keep a secret. They could be involved with somebody you maybe even know. I hate to say that, but that's kind of how I feel. But it's also an energy of someone who's checking you out online dating, social media, somewhere in the community, through other people trying to find out if you're still single. See, so someone who was stubborn and stuck. Now, this is often an energy of someone who's kind of, this is where things become very stagnant. But I feel this is someone who's, the grass is always greener on the other side. I feel they're kind of stubborn, possibly being a little selfish. Uh, but it's a person who also, also keeps themselves stuck and single. This is someone protecting everything they worked for. See, they're trying to protect everything they work for. They want someone. They're attracted, you know. Uh, but I, I feel this is a person who just... I, I feel they came up with some kind of idea and I actually feel the light bulb's going to go off with you. They they just want to be single, you see. This is someone who just wants to play the field. I'm not seeing a player, but um, they're definitely playing the field. This is a person, if they don't get what they want from one person, they, you know, they go get it from someone else. It's often a person who makes up a lot of excuses. I feel it's someone who can't make up their mind to. They can't make a decision definitely there's two they i looks like they started uh, uh two things at once here i do see them someone is busy i feel they do work a lot i feel they may have been at work and or you were at work um and they sent you some kind of a message there's the chariot see they're hoping this is successful this is somebody trying to control their emotions trying not to be emotionally invested you see, but I feel like they did. They, that's the realization after the fact. They're actually invested in this. They're emotionally invested, but they actually want wanted this to be successful, you see, but they lost control. This is the communication is where they lost control. You probably took your power back here a little bit too by not giving to this person, no longer putting in any effort. I feel they weren't putting in a lot of effort. The, it's a person who often makes up excuses. Like I, I feel they're definitely in their feelings. There's feelings here. They were becoming emotionally invested. And two, that's sometimes an energy where, you know, someone starts feeling emotionally invested and then they, you know, oh, I really just want to be single, you know. Um, you know, I want to just keep my options open. Uh, I'm, it's a, often a person who's just not ready. Because I don't really feel see them as a player, but I see them as having other options. Okay. Yeah, you may be seeking out other options. Like I say, you may be deciding, you know, to just protect yourself here and keep your options open. But I, I do feel there's this energy of this person keeping you stuck, keeping you single because they are protecting their money. So, yeah. I, I feel they're just uh, someone who manipulates. Oh, they're pretty good at it too. But there's the energy of one. Some of you may have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, but it's one last look over your shoulder. You see, taking that leap of faith. See, this is someone who was uh, playing it safe, afraid to take a risk. It's like they wanted you to take all the risks, but I feel like you have become in this energy of just leaving this behind and moving on because I feel like you can see they're not really reciprocating. This is what you know, you wait for someone to reciprocate, to invite you out for things to get moving, uh, to get something going. So it's possible you have another person coming in. Yeah, you got somebody else coming in here. See, someone didn't tell you that they had feelings, though. I can see it. I feel this is someone who feels it's too late. You've likely started something new. Uh, yeah, they're definitely in their feelings. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but this also could be somebody new. Okay, coming in. Yeah, really watch the manifesting, the mirroring. Um, if you have, if you have, 
several people, you've had a couple things start and it's the same. You may have a type. If two, if you got two people who are actually mere each other, uh, the way they conduct themselves. Uh, really, you know, the King of Cups is sometimes who a person who they get another opportunity, something better comes along, they drop you like a hot potato. They are somebody who will take certain risks, absolutely, but it's like they want you to take the risk. I feel this is risky with this person. Being with this person could be risky. I feel they have options and can't make up their mind. I feel there's someone who's very indecisive, okay? I do think this is something maybe you're failing to see, okay? Yeah, there you are. So we have a couple here. This is a sad thing, but someone's not speaking the truth. I feel it's someone who wants, they may even be, uh, there may be love here, you know, from this person. But I feel they're, you know, be careful of that someone doesn't emotionally manipulate to just tell you what you want to hear. Often the page of swords is someone, it's not what they do tell you, it's what they don't tell you. They could be in love. They could have a lot of feelings. I feel they caught some feelings here. But I feel they, you know, it's where they lost control, control of their feelings. They became invested, see? It, they, and this is where I feel this is someone who... Um, I, I really feel, as they, you know, this rejection energy is because of that. Someone who just wants to protect their money. You know, everything that they've worked for, they've worked hard. I do feel they work a lot. I do feel they're responsible, reliable that way. Um, you know, I feel they have a solid foundation that they really didn't put their best foot forward. So I feel something ended painfully. Yeah. This person could have just gone through a painful ending with someone too and been kind of in a negative energy. They are, it's often a person who's looking for love. But like I say, it's a person who sometimes meets someone new suddenly and drops, uh, you know, someone like a hot potato for something better. The grass is always greener on the other side. In fact, I feel things ended with both people because of this. I don't think this person got what they wanted. Yeah, see, there it is. They didn't get what they wanted. There's a lack. So, yeah, this is somebody who feels always feels like they're being taken advantage of. Everyone wants more than they're willing to give. So I feel like you're no longer talking to this person. Uh, in fact, this person's uh, feeling pretty left out in the cold here. Well, that's what happens when you manipulate. There it is. See, they didn't come in right. They didn't treat you right. Uh, this is somebody who definitely doesn't want to commit. They don't want to commit. See, and I do think this person's realizing they didn't come in right, too. I mean, for some of you, it's just a person, I feel, where they started something um, with somebody or and they had a painful ending with someone and then they start something with yourself and they're still in that negative energy. They feel like it won't be successful, so they don't put their best foot forward. They don't put a lot of effort in. It's like they, if someone rejects you before you can reject them, too, for some of you. So just take what resonates here. There's a lot of energy here. I, there's different scenarios, but there it is. See, something came to an end. See, somebody ended a relationship or a marriage um, uh, here. And I there's definitely negativity. Now, some of you could be in a relationship with someone who's, you know, stepping out here. But it really looks like we have a, I mean, it's possible we have someone who's acting single when they're not. Uh, for some of you, they act like they're single when they're not, okay? Making up excuses. Yeah, I feel it's just a person who keeps their options open, but I feel they caught some feelings here, and you may have caught some feelings too. This is the chariot, cancer energy, you see? But I feel this is someone who, who uh, they could have cancer in their chart too, but I also see Scorpio. I see a lot of Libra. I see some Aries. Well, this could be a Scorpio energy, you know, someone didn't put their best foot forward. They actually didn't put in the effort. You know, they've had a painful ending. Something ended here. Yeah, it's very painful. Yeah, they may have ended things with a Scorpio. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they ended something with somebody and they were still in this negative energy. But there it is. Mind games, manipulation, deception, dishonesty, five of swords. So someone playing mind games. You know, and that could be yourself too. And no cancer, I see the Queen of Wands come up for you. Some of you may have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart where you just put your foot down. You maybe stood up for yourself. You know what you want. You're not settling. If somebody doesn't want to commit or they're not reciprocating, they're not spending time with you, not giving you any attention. I feel it's where you having that moment. They're not giving you attention. They're giving it to other people. But I actually feel they get a lot of attention. I feel it just comes to them. Okay. 
I feel this is someone who just kind of is used to getting what they want. But yeah, you know, the sad thing is, is there is feelings, but I feel this is someone who didn't tell you the truth. They kept things to themselves. They chose to manipulate and play little games here instead of being honest and open, regardless of the situation. There's not a third party for all of you. I don't see that for everybody. Uh, in fact, I, I don't really feel this is somebody who is um, for everybody who was going back and forth between you and someone else. In fact, they had some of them just ended something and it was very painful. But I feel this is uh, definitely an energy. And I, you know, I see the straw that broke the camel's back for some of you too. You see, you may have had someone here you weren't that comfortable with. It's possible. Maybe, it, you know, somebody could be a little bit moody. Okay. Sometimes the moon shows people being moody and where the other person feels like they're walking on glass. So that's where I, I possibly feel you may actually, you know, be looking at this and having an aha moment. You may have actually dodged a bullet here. But, you know, it is kind of sad. We have the king and queen of cups, you know. This is generally a couple. But, you know, someone's not reciprocating here. They're not telling you the whole truth. Even if they have feelings, I don't think this is something that'll go anywhere. This is someone who will... You know, literally sacrifice love for their money so this is the energy of change moving on you see i feel this is an energy of moving on here and i do think this is someone who likely never change yeah they'll just keep doing the same thing over and over again they're trapped in a cycle a pattern a habit okay but if they do come back around do really watch to make sure this change watch and how they're if you are in a if you are married to this person and you're noticing this person's changing or acting differently you know don't be afraid to ask you know the questions you need to ask here but yeah i i feel this is you know there's some positive energy everything's going to be illuminated i actually feel like some of you have other options those of you who are single i do feel like you're going to realize this person's keeping you stuck okay and keeping you possibly uh, single while you're waiting for this person to make up their mind okay so cancer yeah a lot going on here but this is a pattern a habit someone who keeps doing the same thing over and over again they come back around and act exactly the same okay they don't reciprocate they don't give they want you to give they want you to be the one to do all the work they want to focus on work they want to focus on their money other things they're not really going to put in the effort I actually feel some of you have other people. I, I do think you have people around you because um, I am seeing uh, the energy of three here several times where you could have someone new. You may decide to just leave this person behind and take a leap of faith. But if you take a risk with this person and they haven't changed or they come back around, I, I feel it's just going to repeat. So really look at it. Okay? Be brave, be strong. If you have Aries, Leah, or Sag in your chart, uh, take a look at this energy. Okay. It's also the energy of why something ended. Okay. Why it, it is the way it is. So yeah, there it is, the birth of something new. See, I feel like you're going to leave this behind and go down a new path. I feel like you know what you want. You're not settling. Mind games, playing games, not your thing. Okay. Manipulation. It's, and it's also trust issues. I feel like you're going to see here, you won't, you wouldn't be able to trust this person. Okay. Because sometimes once somebody breaks that trust, it's very difficult to uh, trust them again. But I do feel like you're open to other options, okay? Yeah. You definitely want someone who commits because I feel like y you feel this person, you know, is somebody who won't commit. And if that's how you're feeling. I feel like you're right. I don't think they want to commit or get married. I feel they've been there, done that, okay? They just want to be single. They're protecting their money, everything they've worked for. See, they come in, act like they have no money. This is someone who's always worried they're going to end up with no money. You see, if something isn't long term, if it isn't successful, so they come in with that energy. It starts that way. They don't build the foundation. See, there it is, being sneaky. Oh, there it is. Now we got some player energy. Somebody being very sneaky, manipulating um this person could have a bit of an attitude too like i say if they don't get what they want kind of arrogant they just go get it elsewhere uh, but if it's an energy of looking at the facts and the figures see this is someone who actually wanted they actually wanted to win they actually wanted this to work there's parts where this person wanted this to work they caught feelings but this is where this person realizes that you know <laughs> yeah this is where this person i think this is someone who actually knows themselves 
they know. And I don't think this is someone who's ever really happy. I don't think they ever uh, are really happy um, because it's their own energy, their own negative energies here. This is self-fulfilling prophecy. They manifest and it ends up in a negative and they keep doing the same thing again. So, I mean, if they do come back around, really watch to see if this person's changed. But I don't know if you can ever trust this person, you know. I see the Empress. I see the birth of something new. I definitely see you getting over this healing. I feel like you're open to other offers and options. I do see this beautiful energy. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot of abundance here, you see, this beautiful Empress energy. But you've got new. You have some new coming in here for those of you that are single. But others of you, like I say, it's just healing here, uh, releasing this energy, learning all the lessons of the queens, becoming the empress, okay? And not repeating mistakes of the past, your own mistakes of, of taking risks with somebody here, maybe even knowing <laughs> uh, that there's something not quite right or something off, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're breaking free from this. I do feel like you're moving towards something more successful, I, I really feel here, honestly, I feel like what you have is um, releasing these trust issues too before you start something new. Because I do think that's your challenge is, is not being able to trust because of this. But I feel like you'll break free. I do think you'll move towards something uh, long-term and more successful. I think you're going to see it. I feel like you're going to get it. Whoever this person is, I mean, this could be something that's happened at any time where now you, you've, you know, this has happened with some and then you have somebody new and the same thing happens. Okay. And then you take off, you take back your power, you try not to get emotionally invested and then you, you do it again. So it could be yourself. You may even have a type, okay, a type of person. Uh, the same kind of person, but it's the same thing happening again, rinse and repeat. So that's where it's saying uh, healing and breaking free from this cycle, okay? Especially for those of you who've been stuck in a situation, someone's keeping you stuck, keeping you single, and you wait for this person to come back around, it happens all over again, or it's just with different people. So there it is, see? This is the Eight of Wands, multiple opportunities, things speeding up. You have a lot of positive energy. You have other options going to come in. I actually feel if some of you, once you're healed, once you're ready, and you're feeling you know, powerful, you're in control, you're no longer being ruled by your emotions, or you, you, you know when someone's trying to manipulate you emotionally too, where you can see it. This is where you get your power. This is where your intuition becomes very powerful. I see multiple opportunities, things speeding up here. I see a lot of positive energy coming your way. You're moving away from this uh, mind games, manipulation, uh, trust issues, okay? Uh, you're going to leave that all behind. So there you go. I feel it's an energy of figuring things out. I actually feel like you're going to figure this out. I do think this person here, okay, I think this person actually wanted this to go somewhere, but... It's like they keep doing the same thing again. They keep manipulating. They keep going about it the wrong way, you see, because they feel like they're not going to get what they want. But I'd still be very cautious. It's definitely someone who can't make up their mind. They're sneaky, you know. They go about things in a very uh, deceptive way. Maybe their intentions in the end, um, you know, may be good, but I'm not so sure this is someone who is is long term because i i just feel like they uh, the grass is always greener on the other side they can never make up their mind they're never happy they never feel like they ever get what they want and i do feel they're kind of selfish because i don't think they actually give okay i don't think this person actually gives because it's you know they, they expect more than they're willing to give and that's you know um it kind of reminds me of the single readings on monday about um giving what you expect to receive this person expects to uh, receive without giving so anyway all food for thought take care cancer i feel like you have this but i definitely see an ending i actually feel there's definitely this energy of uh, ghosting ignoring uh, this negative energy okay and i feel too like you may have had several situations that have turned out this way but i actually feel with the empress that you have this and with the queen of swords of knowing what you want too uh, not being afraid to put your foot down. If you feel uncomfortable with someone or you feel like you're walking on glass around them, that's also an energy of being a people pleaser, okay? Not pleasing someone. It's about pleasing yourself here. 
But it's I feel like you need to let go of the, some trust issues here. Okay, and I feel like you will. I feel you're going to break free and move towards something more successful. I see other opportunities coming in. I see you opened other opportunities too. So keeping your own options open, um, not waiting for somebody who, you know, isn't sharing their feelings or reciprocating or spending any time with you. Someone who always makes up those excuses, you see. Take care. I wish you the best and bye for now.